Hello, how are you all doing? My name is Bethul Ashok Kumar, and today we are going to talk about finding the circumference of a circle. What is the circumference of a circle? Circumference is the distance around a circle. When do we use circumference in real life? Let's say that you are wrapping a canister in Christmas paper. You would need to find the distance around the canister to cut big enough paper to wrap it up. There are two ways in finding the circumference of a circle. Pi d and 2 pi r. d represents diameter. What is diameter? Diameter is the distance from one point of the circle to the other point of the circle in a straight line. It can go up, down, left, right, or diagonally. Now let's go to this formula. R represents radius. What is radius? Radius is the distance from one point of the circle to the center of the circle. It could be up, down, left, right, or even diagonal. You can use both of these formulas depending on what you are given. If you are given the diameter, use this formula. If you are given the radius, use this formula. Now, we're going to try to figure out the circumference of the circle using these two formulas. So let's get started with this one. Let's use diameter as 25 inches. As you know, diameter is 25 inches. So you would do 25 times pi. As you all know, pi represents 3.14. So you would do 25 times 3.14. 25 times 3 is 75, and 25 times 0 0.14 is 3 and a half. So you would add 75 and 3 and a half to get 78.5. So the circumference of this circle is 78.5 inches. Don't forget to include your units. Now, Let's get to this formula, 2 pi r. Let's get the radius 12 and a half inches. So as you know, radius is 12 and a half. So you do 2 times pi times 12 and a half. 12 and a half times 2 is 25 times pi. And since this expression here is the same as this one over here, the answer to this one, circle here, would be 78 and a half. So the circumference of this circle here is 78.5 inches. C equals 78 and a half inches. Now, now we have figured out the circumference of these two circles using these two formulas. As you know, the diameter is two times bigger than the radius. You can use either of the formula depending on what you are given. If you are still having questions about circumference, comment on this video and we will discuss. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video. Thank you.